So this is your greeting card project, and your card looks a lot like this. It's just a regular piece of card stock, but it's got this little gentle fold right down the middle. And what you're gonna do, is you're gonna take it and you're gonna fold it on that line, that little crease, very carefully, just like this, before we get started. This is the front of your card. This is the inside of your card where you write your sentiment in there, and this is the back where you can always put your name on the back. Now, I'm gonna show you how to put this adorable llama on the front of your card. I did him big so you'll be able to see what we're doing. Here we go. The very first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna turn your paper like a shower. This is a bathtub, this is a shower. Leave it like a shower. Top part of our paper is gonna be the top half of our llama's head. The bottom part is gonna be the bottom part of his head and the part of his body. So what you're gonna do is you're going to very carefully draw a cloud about mm, the top half of your paper, top third of your paper. And we've got to give that cloud two ears. One, two. Here we go, here comes the really fun part. The letter U makes up his adorable little face. And he gets these two cute little eyeballs, one here and one there. Y'all remember the little llama that we did the weaving on? The letter Y and the letter J and a backwards one. There you go. This is pretty easy, right? Now all we have to do is we have to draw his neck. So what we're going to do is we're going to make him super fluffy and just draw all the way down just like that. Grab your black Sharpie. And you're going to outline the same thing we just drew with your Sharpie. Be very careful that you go right back over your lines. If you don't, like I did there, you can always erase them before you do the watercolor though. Because once you put water on it, it makes it set and you can't erase it. So very carefully go back and just go over your little fluffy llama. With your Sharpie. I'm going to go ahead and give him a little inside of his ears here. Draw your letter U for his face. Fill those all the way in. Give him some cute little eyes. Just like that. Pretty easy, right? All you have to do now finish out his neck. And we're going to put all the little details in first. That way you can just go back and color it any way you want. So we're going to give our little llama a necklace, just like our other one that we wove the blanket on. So I'm going to draw a circle here, a circle here, 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 and one more up here. And then I'm gonna connect those little beads with my lines. So it looks like he's got on a necklace. Okay, I think I'm gonna give him some little swirls all in his fur. That's really easy to do. You just draw a circle, but you don't close it up. You just go out a little bit past it. You can bring it all the way around like that. And I think I'm gonna give him all over his neck and a few in his hair. So y'all just, Draw your little swirls. Not have to sit here and draw swirls all day long. That would take entirely too long. And just give him a couple in his hair up here. There you go. Now you're ready to paint. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my eraser. I'm going to erase these pencil marks that I can see because I'm kind of picky that way sometimes. It's okay if you don't erase all of them, but I like to start with no marks being shown whenever I start watercoloring. Just gently rub it off. You don't have to worry about messing up your Sharpies because it dries instantly. It gives you a nice clean outline to paint in. 
So grab your large paintbrush and pick any color you want. This is, this is entirely up to you how you want to do it. I'm going to paint my background blue. So I'm going to dip my paintbrush in water. Then I'm going to dip it very carefully into my blue paint. Maybe y'all can see it there. And then just very carefully paint my background. Pay attention to what you're doing. Make sure you're painting on a surface that mama says it's okay to paint on because you don't want to get this watercolor on something important. And you're just going to very carefully fill in your background first. If you accidentally get it into your llama, it's okay. I promise. It's not the end of the world. I just want you to have fun doing this. Now I'm out of paint and water on my brush, so I went and got some more water and some more paint. I'm going to blend it in. Be sure to use the tip of your paintbrush when you go around these little areas like that. So you're being careful not to get it inside the lines of your llama. And just fill it all in. You can use any color for this. You can use purple, you can use green, you can use red. It's really up to you. Whatever your favorite color is. Or your not so favorite color. purpose of art is to have fun and enjoy doing it. So now I'm finishing up this side over here. You can take your time. I'm trying to be quick about it so you can see everything that I do. All right. Now, since the background is done, we don't want to paint our llama's fur. And the reason why we don't want to paint it right now is because this is still wet. And if you put wet paint next to wet paint, it runs together and makes a mess. So what we can do is we can do his beads on his necklace. And I think I'm going to use red. Get a little water on your brush and dip it into your watercolor. Just very carefully use the end of your brush to fill it in. I'm gonna skip that one and paint this one red. And then I'm going to skip this one and paint it this one red. Okay. And I think I'm going to paint the inside of his ears red too, but I'm going to make it very, very runny. So that means it's almost going to be pink. So the way I do that is I get a lot of water on my brush and just a tiny bit of the red. You see that? I hope y'all can see that. It makes it look like it's pink inside of his ears. Don't bring it all the way over to the side because blue and red together, does anybody know what color that makes? Anybody? Purple. Good job, purple, that's right. Okay, so what you can do is you can let this dry for a few minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in these two beads here with my cup of yellow. And I didn't realize I was doing this, but I just used the three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. These are the three colors that all other colors are made out of. Red and yellow mixed together make orange. Red and blue mixed together make purple. And blue and yellow mixed together make green. So once this is dry, I'm not going to be able to do it today. Once this is dry, you can paint your llamas fur any color you want. Llamas come in all different colors. There's browns, there's white, there's black. There's, it's just Totally up to you how you want to do it. Um, and I'm going to let you decide whichever way you want to do it. Hopefully you've drawn a really cute llama and I would love to see the results. So if anybody has a chance to share those pictures with us, we'd love to see them. Good job.